Okay, gorgeous people, let's get right into it. So today, Unique and I are doing a day trip, road trip, and you already know, the budget is $100. So we're going down to Columbus, Ohio to go to the Amazon store, and I'm pretty excited to go, but I'm having mixed expectations, to be honest with you, because you know how you can find cheap, good stuff on Amazon? I'm feeling like the store is going to have like good, regular price stuff. <laughs> And since I'm preparing for a vacation, I wanted to see if I can find some stuff in this store. So we're going to see what they have. But before uh, we head down there, I'm going to stop here at Pope, get me something to drink. And that's going to cost me $6. So technically, when I get down to Columbus, I'm only going to have $94 to spend. Because, you know, we're not trying to go over budget. I'm hoping there's some good stuff, but we're going to see. All right, y'all, so we have got our smoothies from Pope. I got an Elite 8 with a shot of energy because I worked last night and I'm tired. <laughs> and what did I get? I got a kale kapow with a shot of um, stress relief. They told me it was not THC. I was kind of disappointed, but we're going to make it do what it do. So mm -hmm. we are going to hit the road. Like I said, my budget is down to $94 because this cost me $6. Y'all know we're not trying to spend no crazy money when we get down here to this Amazon store. Mm -hmm. Day trip, road trips, or day trip and flights, budgets is always $100. So let's make it do what it do, y'all, and we'll catch y'all when we make it to Columbus. This Easton Mall is pretty huge, y'all. And they have really good stores like Foot Locker, you got the hoops. And then it's two levels inside. And then they also have some stores outside, which I'll show you all a little bit later. This store here is H&M. The mall is really clean and it is full to capacity, y'all. I know here in Cleveland, a lot of our malls have kind of been deserted and we don't have much in there. But Easton is still lively, plenty of stores, plenty of shoppers. So shout out to Easton Mall for finding that magic sauce to make it still happen and compete against online retail stores. Here we are coming up on the Amazon store and let's see what they have to offer. So I will say that coming into the store, it was a little bit overwhelming. I think just because it was different and I was trying to get a grasp of what I should do, how I should do it. So they do have these barcodes as you can see. And all you have to do is scan the item and then it's gonna actually let you open the link and take you to the Amazon Style app, which is technically still just within the Amazon app. You go ahead and pick your size and then you add it to your room or start a room because this is my first item I scanned. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start a room and then it starts to process and then it will magically appear in my room when it is ready. And room is technically like the fitting room. So I thought it was really neat how they have this whole concept. And as you can see, like right above Unique, there is a whole outfit. So I was like, I never would do anything like this. So let me go ahead and try that outfit out so at first I thought I was gonna have to like scan each item however they also have this barcode that I'm gonna show you here in a second where you can scan for the whole entire outfit which is really neat because now I don't have to find each individual piece to scan I can just shop the entire look and then it will allow me to pick my size for each one of the items for that look that I'm shopping for. So as you can see, it pulls up each item on the wall and it also put up two other pieces that was there that I technically weren't looking for, but I still was able to select each size that I wanted for each one of the items that I was shopping for that entire look. As you can see, it's telling me that my fitting room is almost ready, but I can still go ahead and continue to add items to the room and then they'll continue to put those items in there and I really just love this whole concept that everything stays on the floor. So you're technically not trying the items that are out there. That way they can all technically stay present as others shop for them. So that was really neat. Now it's time to head over to the fitting room. So I actually, I got a notification on my phone telling me the room was ready. 
it gives you the room number and then it allows you to click the unlock button on the app that way you can enter into the room and it's literally your own private kind of closet space as you can see here so i'm really loving just like the whole theme and environment of the amazon store to be honest with you so we're going to go ahead and click get started and this shows me all of the items that i actually select it that should be in my closet so the top is the items in my room and then on the bottom is suggestions so if i wanted to continue to add things to it i can just click on it and then it will add it to my room so as you can see here are my clothes they magically showed up <laughs> and this is a really private and secure process i would say or not necessarily secure but definitely a private process so when the there's a little red light that's on and it will not allow you to open the door and that's when you know the people who work at the amazon store are actually putting items in your room and so you can't actually open the door so that was nice i felt safe i didn't feel like anybody was just gonna pop in on me so now it's time to try on some clothes let's see how they look so this was the look that i shopped right off the wall i really liked it it was real cute different for me the only thing is that if you select a size and it's not available, they don't necessarily tell you in any way, shape, or form. They just might give you another size. And I love this outfit. These were pants were amazing, y'all. Like, I really love them. They were different for me. Nice material. I definitely like the outfit. It was real cute. It was giving for me, y'all. It was really giving. As you can see, Unique is trying on a few pieces. This shirt, y'all, this shirt is everything. However, the price tag on here was like $300. The material was so soft. I don't know what kind of material it was, but this shirt was real cute. I won't personally buy it because it was $300, and y'all know I don't do outrageous spending. That's what we're not doing. So we're gonna go ahead and finish up the room, saying we're ready to leave. So you take the items that you wanna leave with and then leave everything else in the closet and they'll go ahead and clear it out next stop for us was the capital one lounge and i've always seen like the commercials but i never had a chance to actually experience one in person until now and i really was loving this capital one lounge um this is one of two in the ohio area i think the second one she said was in cincinnati and they might be bringing one to Cleveland. So if they do bring one to Cleveland, I will be happy to go check out the Capital One Lounge. Hey y'all, so the Amazon store was real cool. I really enjoyed how you can like scan the clothes and then they magically show up in this closet or technically your dressing room. Um, but they do have a closet inside of the dressing room, right? So I like how you can do that. And then if you needed a new size, you can just go ahead and push the button on the screen to change your size, change the color. They'll go ahead and add that stuff to the room. And you can also continue to shop on the screen. So you can pick out new pieces to create different outfits, which is something that I end up doing. One of the pieces, actually two of the pieces I really enjoyed or enjoyed. <laughs> I really liked, but because I'm on budget, right? I'm trying to debate if I'm going to actually purchase them because the pants were $60 and the shirt was like $16. So I want to see if I can find something else to do. And depending on how much that costs will depend on if I go back to get the entire outfit. So it's been fun. And then I ran across this Capital One. These are really cute. I love the fact that you can just come in here hang out in the like lounge little spaces in one of the cubby holes they have your power outlets they have wi-fi she said you don't even need to put in a password or anything so i love that about it and it didn't feel like a sales pitch where it was like i had to get a new credit card or open one of their checking accounts for me to be in the space you can just come in sit down work from, like do your work from home work here at this lounge or she said like students come in and just hang out and then while she was talking to us she actually had gave us like coupons to get a free drink. And so I ended up getting um, a tea. What kind of tea was it called? Fruit snack hibiscus, berry hibiscus tea. And this is really, as y'all can see, I'm almost finished with it or halfway. And so the company is Peace Coffee. 
that provides the drinks or whatever like that and then if you have a checking account or a credit card with capital one all of your drinks are 50 percent off anyway so prices weren't really bad even if i didn't get like the free coupon card so don't have to take that out of the budget because it was free and then they also had <laughs> these cookies free sugar cookies that those were just kind of sitting out on the table that you can take and have as a snack so in this lounge they also service your credit card accounts or your checking accounts if you have any issues or anything like that they have two atms in there and she said they're ambassadors so they are able to open brand new credit cards if you need to open new checking accounts the only thing she said that they didn't do was like the auto loans and they did not do business checking accounts but if you need something you can just go in which i thought was really nice they also had like these like cubby rooms where you can kind of close off from everybody else and hang out in there. And she said those are first come first serve. There's no time limit on them or anything like that. So the Capital One Lounge was pretty much really nice. Like if I lived here, I can see that being somewhere that I could just hang out, not feel obligated that I have to either buy something to drink or actually have a capital one product so i thought that was neat that they had that so we gonna finish walking around seeing what all they have to offer and then of course y'all know i'm gonna take y'all on the journey and keep y'all up to date on the budget <laughs> All right, y'all, so we found an escape room that we're going to try. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can actually get out of the escape room. This was $38, so let's just round up to $39. Um, I'm still debating about these pants, but I'll be in budget. I ain't got nothing to eat yet, but I'm not that hungry, so we'll see. almost done y'all hopefully we get out we still got like 22 minutes left we'll see how this works out <laughs> all right y'all so we just finished the escape room unfortunately <laughs> we did not make it out but that's the risk that you take of playing the game we had 60 minutes that was unique's first time doing it i think we honestly did pretty good for it to only be two of us in there, I think the difficulty level was either seven or eight. So, I'm gonna say we did good. We didn't make it out, but we did make it into the second room and we still had a ways to go. Like, we asked the lady, like, were we about to be done? And she was like, you got one more door and she was trying to be nice about it. So, she could have just was like, no, nah. <laughs> it's a wrap. Y'all was not that done. But uh, we enjoyed it and we had a lot of fun. So we about to finish walking around. I'm actually gonna have Unique tell y'all what her experience was of the escape room for that to be her first time in Amazon. I shared with the audience and my gorgeous people what I thought of the Amazon store. So tell us what you thought about the Amazon store. Okay, so the Amazon store, full disclosure, the Amazon store experience is unique, it's different. Um, would I probably go back? No, because I can get better clothes online. Um, I can really take my time going through stuff, but I do feel like we kind of rushed the experience and if we had a plan going in, like we were looking for jeans, then we kind of will focus on jeans and do that. But as far as just like everyday shopping, I don't know that I would come back. Um, okay. Customer service is great. Yes. Having the clothes brought to your room is great. Having the, like being able to pick and choose great but I just don't think that right now the algorithm is really offering selections that people are interested in so yeah you get stuff sent to your room that you pick and then you get stuff sent to your room that you didn't pick and I wouldn't pick none of that stuff <laughs> <laughs> so that's interesting because like I had probably two pieces that did not come to my room mm -hmm and they told me they was out of stock and now i didn't find that out until after i had asked yep. somebody same, same. 
same. And so, they, they let you pick it. They let you fill up your room because you can only get 10 items. And then um, it don't show up. All right, gorgeous people. So we have had a great time out yes. here in Columbus and Easton. I must admit, skate room was good. Amazon store was cool. <laughs> Not my favorite, but it is what it is, right? So we have come to the end of our journey today. We definitely appreciate you tuning in. Make sure y'all stay tuned for many more videos to come. Like I said, I have a decent amount of travel videos coming up, which is one of the reasons why I was out here, but I ain't get nothing for that trip, y'all. <laughs> nothing at all. So we're gonna keep looking for stuff like that. I did stay in budget because I ain't bought nothing. We did the <laughs> right. escape room. That was like $40 if we round up. Well, we didn't eat yet. We haven't ate yet, so <laughs> I go find something to eat. But I'm gonna do a let's have lunch and I'll do a deeper dive into that food product and that re or that restaurant. But we're gonna go find something to eat. I didn't go back and buy the pants. I'm still debating. If I do, I end up just getting them directly off of Amazon mm -hmm. since that's what you can do anyway. <laughs> so as always, gorgeous people, go out there, create memories that will last a lifetime.